Well, hey everyone, welcome back to Kitchen Table TCG. My name is Louie. I hope you're having yourself a fantastic day. Today we're taking another look at Cryptic. We're going to continue to open some of these test packs uh, that were given to me by Tanner over at Cryptic. We're going to continue uh, to try to complete my set. I've got my extras here. Uh, I just started putting these into a binder and decided that I'm going to attempt to finish a full set. These are some of the extra ones I've got. I want to have a little conversation about Cryptic today. Obviously, the Kickstarter was incredibly successful. I think $850,000 or something like that. Uh, but on bigger point, it, it, tons of people who signed up for it. And it really is a testament to uh, the excitement that is behind this game. And then recently, the last couple weekends, we've seen a lot of the uh, test packs and particularly the Riddle 66 boxes that have made their way onto whatnot and a lot of the streaming platforms fetching a pretty penny, uh, even upwards of like four to $500 uh, per pack. Kind of cool. Uh, so we're going to open some more and see if we can complete our set. I don't think we'll complete it today, but we'll kind of keep going at it. Um, and I want to talk and just do a little conversation about the game. If you're not familiar, a lot of these test cards look much different. Uh, you know, even in the uh, these LGS test decks that you may see at your LGS, Tanner sent out 250 free LGS kits to a bunch of LGSs across the country. Uh, so some of the cards will look a little bit different in their kind of final versions. Even these, I think, are not the... Oh man, Rose is one of my favorite cards. Uh, but just so you know what the game's all about, uh, each card also has a resource. So you can use the card as a resource or you can use it as a, you know, actual physically playing the card. The cost for the card is right there in the middle, the power and the toughness and then the abilities. The rarity is in that top corner. So a really, really cool game. A lot of fun, uh, really fun things. We'll talk a little bit about the gameplay. You can go check out some of the gameplay on my channel if you're interested in that. Uh, and we're going to have a how to play video here coming up. But I wanted to just take a look and talk about why I think this game was successful. Obviously, on all these Kickstarters, we have some um, some conversations post Kickstarter to ask the question, you know, why was this successful? What was it about this game that really made it, um, you know, not to compare it to other games, but what is it about this game that made it successful? In my opinion, uh, there's there's two things really going for Cryptic. Uh, number one, it, uh, three things really going for Cryptic. I guess number one would be, and this is in no particular order, order, but number one would be the artwork. The artwork is just really, really well done. I like the full art stuff. Um, the artwork's really good. Number two is that it's a very, very easy to learn game. It has a lot of similarities to Magic the Gathering. Uh, a lot of similarities, you know, in terms of the way that the game plays and the, the cost of things uh, and the way that, uh, you know, spells work and whatever. I mean, it's completely different. There's a lot of um, dynamics. Here's the Riddle 66 cards. Um, there's a lot of dynamics to the game. We're, we're not going to get into those because I'm, I'm looking to just finish my test packs. Uh, there's a lot of dynamics to the game that are, you know, obviously the you have the the you don't have a life total in cryptic you have um you know 66 years and so you have 66 you have a uh, six 11 year slots and your cards go in so you don't you're not trying to get somebody's life total down Ooh, tocho this is one of my favorite cards in the game so it's really interesting and then the third thing that i think is really really good uh, about cryptic is tanner is just a really good guy and uh people like to get behind um people that they like all right so let's see i'm not going to take a look at what i'm missing but uh, i know some of these that i think i was missing at tocho soaring cascade i mean the artwork is just beautiful um and i think if people like to get behind somebody that they think is a good person uh and and that's exciting and, and tanner just has this attitude and this um this personality behind him that i think is really fun and i think people like to get behind so uh, but going back to the idea that the game is easy to pick up and learn, uh, something like this card, the see, it's like so, it's so easy to understand. You can see its cost. You can see, and I mean, again, they've changed the the way that the card design is, but you can see easily what the card does, and it's just a way, um, you know, the similarities to Magic: The Gathering make it a very easy game to pick up and learn. I think there's something to say about that. Whenever you're looking at new games, it's like how complex is the game and it is it easy for the average person who likes tcgs to pick it up and and be able to learn how to play so i think that's definitely something that cryptic has going for it all right here we go our first rare or is this going to be a foil Ooh, our first rare is a tribulation i love that artwork let me move the lights over i was trying to there's all oh, that artwork super cool i love it all right in our foil nope another rare 
Renewed tenacity. Oh, the cool. The artwork in this game is phenomenal. It is absolutely phenomenal. And our foil. Oh my gosh, is that an? Oh my gosh, that's another. Uh, this is the ultimate rarity. I can't remember exactly what the rarity is called, but that blue is the the max rarity. Another max rarity foil. This box has been hot. If you remember, uh, I started opening these packs a while ago. All right, that was a really really good box. Um, whew, a really good pack. Uh, all right, we're gonna put that there. I'll put these here. Get you a little bit better background, a little bit more things. Actually, we'll, we'll close this. We'll do this for the background. I, it's a new setup lately. I'm trying to figure out if I like it. Uh, you know, I might not do play mats below anymore. Might just mix it up a little. All right, let's keep going with these test packs. So I decided I want to go for a full test, um, a, a full test like collection. I'm gonna try to get all the uh, the test cards. Definitely all the non-foil test cards. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to to make my way through all the foil test cards. The, the prices on these cards is getting insane uh, and the market's really picking up. Looking at these as like sample cards, these in the 66 pack box cards. I particularly like these because I can read them. Uh, I don't I don't love cards. Like I was never a big fan of foil or um, foreign language cards like in Magic. Ooh, Ona. Ooh, this is the one that I got the box topper of for Donia. Um, Lycan. I, I'm not, I just like being able to read the cards. Just a, I'm a big fan of that. So the artwork's just really, really good. Um, obviously, the Kickstarter for this is over, so you missed out on that. But you may be able to pick it up at your LGS. There was an LGS tier, uh, and so LGSs may be doing you know a pre-order or whatever they they end up doing with their Kickstarter tiers. Juno, that's another good one. Unholy mess. I mean, just the artwork's just really, really good. Destroy all citizen, and a foil rare corpse heat heist. Okay, so the foil was in a different slot. So you must get a, in this pack, you must get a, whatever that ultimate rarity is in every box. And so that was our foil of that side. Uh, Cause we got a foil rare there in the corpse heist. All right, cool. Um, really, really sweet. I, again, I I think that the Riddle 66 packs are really cool. Um, it was really, I was honored to be able to open one and, and share it with you guys on the channel. Uh, if you guys remember when I was doing it, it was like hard for me to do it though. Cause I didn't fully, understand the cards and that's why i i like these cards where i can just read them destroy target citizen with a soul cost of three or less you know this game like i said it's uh it's easy to pick up and learn and it's got a, a, a team behind it that really really believes in the game and really understands the community really understands the tcg industry and really understands the tcg community uh and that's what i think is such a cool uh, side of the stuff whenever you see these new games to see some well that one artwork you can hardly you can hardly see what it is i don't like you can hardly let me make it dark i don't know do i need to make it lighter or darker it's like super dark uh but there's really cool stuff about this game if you haven't checked out that gameplay video make sure you go check that out uh because the, this game's picking up a ton of steam um, a ton of interest. Ooh, Ravana. This is a super cool. So, uh, Ravenous uh, destroys 11 years cards when not blocked. Uh, two of them instead of one. So, in 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 Cryptic, you have uh, six 11 year cards, which represent your 66 years on the island that you're battling on. And so, instead of dealing damage to each other, you are destroying each other's cards. And when one of your six 11 year cards gets destroyed, it actually goes into your hand. So, as the game goes, you, as you get quote unquote weaker you actually get more cards in your hand. So it's very, very interesting. Um, it's, it's a super, super intriguing game design, Felicity. And it's a lot of fun to play. Um, so go pick it up, uh, go check it out on the Tabletop Simulator. Oh my gosh, Osiris, another uh, super, super rare. I can't remember the rarities. It doesn't say, it says, I'm, I'm butchering this video right now. Uh, void rare. So this, oh my gosh, we miss, our pulls are incredible. Uh, one rare or void rare so we've been doing <laughs> we've been doing really really good on these packs absolutely incredible uh osiris is a really cool card let me show you what osiris says i've been trying to to hop in on this about uh, once every other week i've been really playing just to kind of learn sidesteps a really cool mechanic uh it can only be blocked by other systems with sidestep then when it enters the islands you get to probe three and you can cast one ascendant system from your limbo pile each turn 
Uh, so really, really cool. I, the the mechanics of this game are tight, and they've got a whole team. They've got uh, you know a a linguist that has developed the cryptic language that you saw on the Riddle sixty six boxes, uh, and it's really, really, really the the depth of the lore and the depth of the game is uh, is something that you cannot uh, you just can't take lightly, and I think it's really, really awesome. Um, so big fan of cryptic. I don't like that card that I can't see the artwork though. Uh, the other artwork is phenomenal though. Like, this is one of the biggest selling points of TCGs also is the way that the card just looks when you when you look at the card. And Cryptic did a good job of just making the cards look really clean. Again, these are not the final frames. The the final frames on Kickstarter were ended up being different, but huge fan of Cryptic. Let me know what you think in the comment sections. And uh, if you've played, you know, let me know your thoughts on the game, that side of things too. Charlie's Ascendancy. We already pulled a foil, Charlie. Oh my gosh, are we gonna get another foil? Oh my gosh. I feel like our pulls are insane. Another void rare. It's supposed to be one in three packs. We have not hit the crystal. Um the the crystal we got in the um the box topper of my box, but we there could be a crystal foil. Uh the crystal foil I have I have it back there, but uh go watch my other box open, my original one of this the, from the box topper. Super, super cool um really really great game really really great artwork and i'm trying to complete this set oh man i love it when oh this is the name <laughs> that's an error i think I, I think it was uh i think it's supposed to have an actual name and they they just left the placeholder in on accident there's a duplicate for me i'll be uh in the marketplace trading my duplicates to try to finish out my set here um here we go our last foil is give me that crystal foil baby that's what we want Give me that crystal foil. That would be amazing. Here's a rare. Delilah. Brennan, we're going to get another void foil? Oh, my gosh. What is happening? Am I missing something? Because that's another blue foil. That's We got four of our five were void foils. Unless I'm missing something, which, I, you know, you guys know me. Very easily could be missing something. Anyway, those are the three big reasons I think Cryptic was successful. Uh, I think will continue to be successful. Uh, you've got a game that's extremely um, easy to pick up and learn, especially if you're familiar with Magic the Gathering. And in our industry, most people are familiar with Magic the Gathering. Now, that being said, it has balanced a lot of the issues with Magic the Gathering. You don't get land screwed because every card has a resource attached to it. Uh, you know, like there's a lot of balancing acts to that. Um, the this, this second, the artwork is just incredible. The card, the borders, everything looks really good. But probably the most important thing is uh, that Tanner is just a really, really chill guy, a guy that the community can rally behind and a guy that people want to see succeed when they talk to him. He's friendly, he's kind, he's, he's a guy that people want to see succeed and so they're willing to get behind a new TCG. So if you have the opportunity, make sure you go join the Cryptic uh, Discord channel. I'll, I'll leave a link in the comment section below. Hop in the, uh, the Cryptic chat in our T Kitchen Table TCG Discord server as well. And uh, yeah, we'd love to see you guys there. Hope you guys have yourself a fantastic day. Remember to be kind to the people around you. Uh, if you're in that trade server, I'll be um, putting some of the duplicates I have up uh, to trade to try to get a full set. Hope you have yourself a fantastic day. Remember to be kind to the people around you. We'll see you again next video.